let's get the ball rolling. Our first show deals with the more feminine side of motorcycling. It should prove to be an eye opener. So take a ride with us. The motorcycle television show is about to begin. I first learned about Jennifer through a good friend of mine who was getting some welding done on his motorcycle. He said he ran into this female mechanic who gave him some good advice on the best way to rebuild his engine. It turns out she's from Germany, and after completing a three-year apprenticeship degree in motorcycle mechanics and a couple more years besides that in Germany, she decided to move to San Francisco and set up a small motorcycle repair shop in the back of the welding shop. Well, when I caught up with her, she had moved from the back of the welding shop to a new location in her very own motorcycle repair shop. And what I found out should make you gals think twice whether you can fix a motorcycle or not. And you guys should think twice next time your girlfriend says she's not able to fix her own bike. Anyway, let's meet Jennifer. No, it's, it's not a problem if you don't see it as a problem, I don't know. <laughs> you can do everything you want. Because there's, I mean, in Bavaria where I grew up, there's just no woman mechanics, you know? I was one of the first ones. And they just weren't used to it. They were really afraid that I would fall in love with the mechanic and disturb the whole workshop thing and nobody would work anymore. And actually it said once, my boss said once to me, it's like the only reason we hired you because you're tall and not very good looking and you like, look like a boy, you know? It's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> my boss was actually pretty cool, the guy that hired me. He was like, like a head and a half smaller than me. And he, he didn't really like that actually, but he was cool enough to like, you know, stand over it, <laughs> get over it and like hire me. So that was good. And then nobody, and no, none of the guys that worked there wanted to work with me. They're like, no, 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 she can't do it. She's just going to slow me down. And But it was okay. I wasn't that bad in the end. <laughs> So it's an all, all Japanese bike. It has something on there from every brand. So the tire is what? It's from a Yamaha TZ 250, 1974. And the shocks in front end? That's a GSXR 750. That's Suzuki? 
Suzuki. Suzuki, yeah. And then uh, here is the, uh, the handlebars of this BMW, actually. The handlebars and the risers of BMW. And the motor is? Honda CB750. And the rear end? VF 500 interceptor modified. <laughs> yeah. It was a single shock swing arm. But it's, you know, it took a lot of time and a lot of mod uh, modification actually. So you had to put the shocks mounts on? Yeah, I brought the shock mounts the, on. So to make it look more vintage, you know, I didn't want to have a motor shock. The parts were lying around somewhere, my friend's house, and I bought them for cheap or I got them for free. I just actually I just took what I got, cheap and free, and put it together, put it on that bike. I didn't really especially have anything in mind when I built it. Like this has to look like this. It just has to look nice and different. And I had these 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 parts. I put them on. Should I get it out here? It's really dark inside. That's all right. I can turn up the light on the camera. Well, uh, you know, I mean. <laughs> this is your bike, and you've got to fix it in two weeks? Right. That's my Vodaguzi. This is the Vodaguzi, the side guys in the back there. Um, you're, just, you're missing a couple parts. Yeah, well. My boss said to me once, like, a mechanic that swears is a bad mechanic. And I, I was swearing a lot when I was an apprentice, you know. Like, well, oh, like, really bad. And I mean, to a point where it was just too bad, you know. I mean, my language got really bad, you know. Like, really <laughs> mechanic sort of language. But, and now I don't swear hardly at all anymore. So I think he's right. Because now it, there's no point in swearing. You're just wasting your time, you know. Just do it. And the same time you were, were swearing and like, oh, fuck. Blah, blah. You, you, you could have fixed it, you know. I sort of had a hard time at apprenticeship, so I didn't, I don't, I wouldn't want to give anybody else a hard time like that. So I'm trying to like, I was, I, I was to teach a woman, like, and prove that you can teach women, that you can teach people differently than they te taught me, like really, like, you know, like thumbs on you and you're bad and you can do this and stuff like that and really like tell you all this stuff which is sort of tradition in Germany to treat the apprentices really bad to see if they can take it you know so I want always to prove that you can do it differently that you like talk to people you teach them things you listen to them you know and that's what I'm trying to do I always wanted to teach women you know like because like yeah you have to teach them like this because otherwise they will don't work out you know and they're like no it's not that way you can be friendlier to women you know and I went back to that place later and said, okay, why don't you be nice to nice to people? They, they're going to learn. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe you have to treat boys like that. I don't know, but a woman, if she wants to learn it, you don't, you don't have to like, treat her like shit because then she's just going to quit. You have to treat them nice, otherwise they're going to quit. So that's what I'm trying to do, you know. I find that a lot of times men tend not to take women seriously in fields like this until they've proven themselves. Whereas if a man walks up and just says, oh yeah, I can do all this stuff, I think sometimes they're given a little more automatic credit. And uh, she's really good about uh, treating, she treats everyone with respect, but I really, I don't feel like an idiot. You know, I don't feel like I'm asking stupid questions. She's really good to work for.